In response to COVID-19, PSP is offering telefitness to Canadian Armed Forces members. By using social media platforms, the telefitness classes tailored to Canadian Armed Forces personnel become accessible to all. Prior to participating in this session, and to make an informed decision on whether you should seek advice from a qualified exercise professional or healthcare provider, consult the Get Active questionnaire of the Canadian Society of Exercise Physiology and its reference document by clicking on the links below. By continuing with this telefitness class, you understand that there is a possibility of physical injury and you agree that you do so voluntarily at your own risk. You also assume all risk of injury and agree to release the Canadian Forces Morale and Welfare Services from any and all claims related to your participation in this telefitness class. Good morning everyone, welcome to Functional Core Training. My name is Rebecca Eagles, I'm a fitness and sports instructor from CFB Petawawa. Today we're going to be going through a circuit style core workout. Um, it's going to be more muscular endurance based. In terms of equipment for today, all you will need is some space to move around. Uh, you may need a yoga mat if you have one, you can also use a towel. Um, you'll need some form of weight, whether that's a kettlebell, a dumbbell, it could be a backpack with some books or some, some stuff in there to make it uh, a little bit heavier. Um, music if you'd like, there will be no music playing in the background of this video, um, and some water as well. So like I mentioned before, this workout is going to be a circuit style workout. There's going to be five exercises. Uh, so we're going to take minimal rest in between each exercise and then we're going to take one minute rest in between each round. All right. Um, so I'll go through a quick demo and explanation of each of the exercises that we're going to be doing today. So I just forgot to mention that there's going to be five rounds total, five exercises, five rounds total, a minute rest in between each round. Okay, so the first exercise we're going to be doing is inchworms. So for this, you're going to inhale, take your arms up nice and tall, core nice and tight, and then you're going to walk your hands down to your toes, out into a strong floor plank. So no dipping in the back, no butt up in the air. Making sure that your shoulders are over top of your wrists. Uh, legs nice and tight as well, core nice and tight so you can hold this. And then you're going to walk your hands back to your toes and then stand up. So that will be one rep. This workout we're going to be doing 10 reps. All right. Exercise is a plank with a pull through. So in a high plank position, uh, shoulders are going to be over your, your wrists. The wider your foot stance, the easier it will be to stay stable. So we just don't want any rotation of the hips or the shoulders at any time. So keeping your shoulders over top of your wrists, you're going to take your left hand with the weight on your right side and pull it through to your left side. So same thing on the right, right hand, right side, um, trying not to rotate your hips, like I mentioned before. So we're going to do 10 of those total. The next exercise we're going to do is a dead bug with a weight. So whatever weight you choose to use, you're just going to Press it straight out in front of you, uh, keeping your wrists in line with your shoulders if you can. Core nice and tight, knees bent at 90 degrees, and then you're going to alternate which foot comes down towards the floor. So we're going to do 10 of these total. Make sure that your low back is pressed into the ground as well, so you don't want an arch uh, in between the ground and your low back. So core nice and tight. All right, next exercise we're going to do is a mountain climber with a rotation. So high plank position here. You're going to bring your right knee to your right elbow, over to the left, back to the right, and then step that foot back. Same thing on the left side. So left knee, left elbow, over to the right, and then back to the left. So we're going to do 10 of those total. The last exercise we will be doing is a bear crawl hold and then we're going to alternate which hand we're taking off the floor, okay? So bear crawl hold is, if you start in a tabletop position, just your hands and knees, 
And then you're just going to take your knees about one inch off the floor, keeping your knees underneath your hip. So once your knees are off the floor, you can kind of widen just a little bit if you need to. It's going to help with that stability as well so you're not rocking side to side. So from here, whenever your core is nice and tight, you're just going to take one hand off the floor and we're going to do 10 of those total. So just holding for a second or two at the top and then bringing that hand back down. With a warm up now, so you guys can start on your mat if you have a mat or your towel or whatever you're working with. We're going to start in a tabletop position. So knees directly underneath your hips, wrists underneath your shoulders. You're going to keep the toes tucked and take a nice deep breath in. You're going to bring the crown of your head up towards the ceiling, arching your back. And then on your exhale, you're going to tuck your tailbone under, press your shoulder blades up into the ceiling. So just continue with your own breath. Again, inhale, looking up, arching your back, and then exhale, tucking the tailbone, tucking the chin, pressing your shoulder blades into the ceiling. Last one. Good, so just coming back to a neutral position. Here we're just going to come up into a high plank position. Then you're going to step your right foot to your right hand as close as you can get it. And then you're going to open up towards that knee. So take that right arm up towards the ceiling, looking up towards your hand, pausing for a second at the top. Then you're just going to bring that hand back down on the inside of that foot. Step the foot back, we're just going to do the left side now. So left foot, left hand, open up towards that knee, look up towards your hand. Good, hand back down, foot back, we're going to do the right side. Good, hand back down, foot back, left side. Good, hand back down, foot back. We're going to do each side just once more, all right? So pausing for a second or two at the top. Hand back down, foot back, last side. Good, hand back down, foot back. All right, so next one we're going to come into a downward dog position. So starting in a high plank position here, you're gonna press your hips up and back. You can bend your knees slightly if you need to, but you're trying to press your torso or your upper body into your thighs. So from here, we're just going to flow in between downward dog and a high plank. So on your inhale, you're going to come forward, shift forward so that your shoulders are over top of your wrists, and then exhale, coming back into that down dog position. So just continue on with your own breath, pausing for a second in that plank, core nice and tight, back to down dog, exhale. Good, so we're just going to do two more on your own, pulling forward on that inhale, core nice and tight. Exhale, down dog. Good. Last one. Pulling forward. Core nice and tight. Pressing back, down dog. Good. So you can just come back down to your hands. The last thing we're going to do is a good bridge. So you guys can just roll over onto your back. So just lie down flat. You're going to bring your heels to touch your fingertips about hip distance apart. And then from here, you're just going to press your weight up towards the ceiling, squeezing your glutes together at the top, and then slowly lowering one vertebrae at a time back down to the mat. Good, so you just go with your own pace, and we're just going to do six reps. So this is two, so four more on your own. Remember, one vertebrae at a time down towards the mat, so nice and slow and squeezing your glutes together at the top. Good, two more. And last one. Good, 
Good, all right. So you guys can just go ahead, grab a sip of water, and then we're going to get started. All right, everyone, we're gonna get started. So we're gonna start with your inchworms, working down through that circuit that we mentioned before, minimal rest in between each exercise with a minute rest in between each round. All right, so we're gonna inhale, look up toward the ceiling, core nice and tight, walking your hands down to your toes, out into a strong plank, walking your hands back to your toes, all the way up, inhale, exhale down, Strong plank. Good, we're halfway, five more. into our plank with our pull through. So coming into that strong high plank position, wherever you are, taking the opposite hand, dragging the weight to the opposite side. Next is your mountain climber with rotation, so coming into that high plank, right knee, right elbow, over to the left, left, eight, we got two more, nine, and ten. Good, last one before our rest is our bear crawl hold, alternating which hand is coming off the floor, all right? So tabletop position, lifting about one inch off the ground, and we're just gonna alternate which side. Two more. Good, and we're gonna rest one minute. All right, we got about 27 seconds before we begin our second round. So take a quick sip of water if you need to, and then we're going to get started with our inchworms again. 15 seconds. All 
Alright, five seconds, four, three, two, one, and go. So inhale, looking up, exhale down, coming into your strong high plank, back to standing. All right, 30 seconds before our third round. So you guys can grab some water if you need to and then get yourself ready. Good, that was five, so we're halfway. One more. 
Weight straight out in front of you. Leg bent to 90 degrees. All right, we got 30 seconds. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, exhale, coming into your inchworm. into our dead bug. Weight to in front of you. Knees bent to 90 degrees.
So last exercise is our bear crawl. So one inch off the floor. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. All right, so our cool down now. We're just gonna come into a tabletop position. Put your hands out in front of you just slightly, and then you're going to untuck your toes. Take your knees as wide as your mat or your towel is, and then you're just gonna sit your butt back. Hands are gonna stretch out in front of you, and then you can just let your head rest onto your mat. And we're just gonna hold this child's pose just for a few moments. So while you are in child's pose, try to bring your breathing back down to normal. Try to take nice deep breaths in and exhale with all of your air out. Good, take one nice deep breath in here and then exhale. We're just going to walk both hands to the right side. So just off of your mat, 
but your lower half is in the same position. So again, just resting your head in between your shoulder blades on the mat, still focusing on bringing your breathing back down to normal. Good, your next deep breath in, you're just going to walk to the opposite side, to the left side, off of your mat. Still in that same position for your lower half, head just resting in between your shoulder blades. Good. Your next inhale brings you up to a tabletop position. And then we're just going to lie down on your stomach. Toes can be untucked. Hands are just going to be around your shoulder area. And then we're just going to press up slightly so your ribs are still on the mat. Squeeze your glutes so you protect your low back. Keeping your hands around your shoulders. And then you're just going to look forward or look up slightly, keeping your shoulders away from your ears and your shoulder blades nice and engaged. We're just going to hold here. Still focusing on bringing your breathing back down to normal. So we'll hold for one more nice deep breath in. And exhale, coming back down towards the mat. Good. Your next inhale, you're just going to press up slightly if this is comfortable for you. If it's not, stay on the mat, ribs stay on the mat. Still bringing your gaze forward. Making sure either position you're in, you're squeezing your glutes nice and tight, protecting your low back. Good. Your next exhale, you're just going to lower down to the mat. And then we're just going to come into a tabletop position. You're just going to bring your right hand up towards the ceiling, look up towards your hand, and then you're going to thread it through in between your left leg and your left arm. So just sitting back, and you can kind of press your hips towards the right side a little bit so you get a deeper stretch in that shoulder blade area. Have a great day and see you all soon.